Hello, it's Kelly back with another layout process video. Today I am using a sketch from uh, Page Maps. This is from the September 2020 sketches. Um, I will link uh, that below. So this is a pretty current sketch. Um, and I am using this collection by Echo Park called down on the farm to scrapbook these pictures. I'll show you in just a minute of my handsome little grandson in his little cowboy hat and, and his little cowboy boots, which you can't see those in the picture, but you know, one goes with the other. So, <laughs> um, so this collection was a little bit challenging for me to use mainly for, because I feel like all the pages or all the papers were mostly like A side papers, not B side. Like this gingham check paper that I just cut the blue and white. I feel like that's the only B side paper in this whole collection. And well, I love A sides for accents and icons. Just sometimes you need some just common simple patterns you know and this really didn't have very many simple patterns they were all icons and pictures and so it was a little bit difficult to use but i still love how it turned out it came out super cute <laughs> And I'm just trying to decide here kind of the layout that I will be using. I will be using that Farm Fresh 4x6 cut apart sheet as my, or cut apart card as my title. And I'm just trimming it down just a little bit to make it fit a little better. And I'm going through some of the ephemera to kind of weed out some of the things that I know I won't use from and separating those from things that I could possibly use. And this is just kind of the process I go through when I am scrapbooking a page just, you know, to narrow my choices down so I don't feel so overwhelmed with all the things. So this was actually a pretty quick layout. It came together fairly quickly. Number one, because I'm using a sketch and I stuck pretty true to the sketch. And number two, I limited the supplies that I had. I, I tried to just make myself use what I had right in front of me because I feel like uh, lately I've been scrapbooking some really like intricate kind of layouts and I just felt like, okay, I just need to do something simple, which I love, you know, doing mixed media and all those things. But sometimes it's nice to just sit down and, you know, spend 30, 45 minutes on a lay layout as opposed to an hour and a half or two hours, which is not uncommon for me at all. I just was going for simplicity here. And since the patterns are so busy, I feel like if I would have gotten much more <laughs> intricate, it would have been a little bit too much. So I did pull in this. Um, it's actually an Echo Park paper, but it's from the dots and stripes, just common pattern. Um, so I pulled that in just to bring in a little bit of the red. Is it my, isn't he just so handsome? <laughs> so cute. So this is the second time I am recording my voiceover. The first one, I had to take that video down because unbeknownst to me, I had music that was copyrighted. So I had to take the entire video down and re-upload it, but it's a lesson learned. I'm still a new YouTuber and 
apparently you can't just go download music off the internet and think that it's free, that there's a copyright. So, but lesson learned, won't do it again. It just, you know, some of these things are a process of learning and maybe probably I should have known better, but I do now. So anyway, I am using some of the icon stickers from the pattern paper sheet or the, I don't know what I'm saying from the sticker sheet and popping those up on some foam tape and um, I'm going to use them in those two areas. The cow will actually move down and, you know, I just said the cow will move down because I'm a dork like that. <laughs> I work with kids all day. I have a corny sense of humor. What can I say? So anyway, I'm I'm using some of the elements from the sticker sheet for my embellishments. And I have my typical uh, triangle of three. Uh, embellishment clusters the first one is at the top left hand corner with the two horse tags and the cow in that area I feel like in, you'll see in a minute he comes down um, and begin and will go down to the simple life banner because I felt like and that was too much of a cluster. Like I needed it to be more compact or condensed. So, and I did pull in some of these brads, which are also Echo Park, uh, mainly because I needed to secure the tags at the corner up there. It, but also I pulled two more in because I wanted to repeat that element throughout each cluster just to give it a little bit of um, uniformity. So, and you know, I'm doing this in an odd way, but I felt like that the title piece needed a little bit of a um, red, a pop of red as well. So I just cut that paper down and since I'd already adhered the title, it was, I didn't want to risk ripping the whole thing up. So I just did it an awkward, weird way. <laughs> so, but I like the way that looks kind of just a little offset of red and it just gives that the title a little more pop. I feel like and I'm adding just some finishing touches here. I'm roughing the edges up to give the edges some definition. And I thought about using that puppy dog, but I didn't. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. And I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.